What is going on guys? Today we're going to take a look at some of the software changes present on Surface Duo 2 and to do that, to access all the information that we have at current, which granted isn't a ton, but it is enough to at least make a video about. What we're going to be using here is the Surface Duo 2 emulator. Now, if you want to do this yourself, you're free to do it. I'll have a link in the description to this web page, which explains to you how to download and set this thing up for yourself. It's not super complicated, but you have to download several files and do some stuff, but whatever. At the end of the day, it's working just fine. And what you're going to get when you're done is effectively this. So this is a Surface Duo 2, basically. And what I mean by this is we're just running effectively a Surface Duo inside of a shell and an emulator on my Windows PC. And I can move things around. I can open up things. I can go into the settings and do whatever I want to do. So what we're going to do is I'm going to just look at everything I can think of looking at in this emulator. Now, a few things aren't going to be here. There's no camera app present. So unfortunately, I can't show you the camera app layout and things like that, but a lot of things are present. So let's go over the basics here first. We talked about in an earlier video that the notification shade was actually different. And you can see this here. We actually get much closer to filling out the entire width of the display. And as you can see here, this looks much more like Android 11. It's got a different look than it did on the original Surface Duo, which you can see there by comparison. This is a different look, and I think that it does look quite a bit better. Now, if we pull down again, we're going to get some more settings, but we're also going to get the ability to change the volume and the screen brightness right there in the notification shade. Now, this is actually really important when the device is in tint mode and you're trying to watch content. You'll actually have the ability to just swipe down twice and change your volume. You don't have to pick the thing up and hit your volume rockers or anything like that. It's going to be right there ready to go. Now, in terms of these quick settings, most of this is pretty normal. One cool thing is that we do have a screen recorder, something that we did not have before. It actually doesn't work in this emulator, so I can't really test its functionality, but there is a screen screen recorder there. Hopefully it works well and doesn't do what the screenshot thing did for a long time where even if you're in phone mode, you'd get a screenshot of a blank space next to it. Hopefully it all records properly. Let's go into the edit thing here and see if there's anything else we can drag in. Nothing too crazy there. But all in all, you notice the animations here as I go back and forth, they look good. They look different. They look nice and clean and polished. Uh, what about the actual settings itself? So the settings don't look wildly different, at least on this emulator, than they did uh, before. And I want to kind of emphasize this. Some of these things may be subject to change. I'm not sure how much of this is going to stay exactly the same. That's something we have to wait and see. So let's go into network internet. Is there anything in here that looks weird? No, don't really expect there to be. Connected devices, everything looks pretty normal here. We do have the surface pin right in hand, right and left. That's nothing crazy. Apps and notifications. Now here's an interesting one. Span apps automatically. So let's do this. Let's let's pick an app that we want to span automatically on this thing. So let's do, well, I just keep jumping around here. Let's do messaging and we'll close this real quick and let's open up messaging. And it did open straight into span mode. Probably not a good option for this because it doesn't look good being spanned automatically, but I am really happy that that is a feature. Let's 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 look at Outlook instead. That's probably a better option here. And I've actually got a uh, phony baloney email in here. Let's open up Outlook. And hey, that's pretty good. So if there's an app that every time you opened, you automatically went in and spanned, well, hey, that's a pretty good option there for you to just be able to do that now right out of the box automatically. Pretty cool. What about under sound, media, call volume, Surface Duo features? Maybe this will be fun. So glance bar on show notifications. You can see we actually have separate things here for each one of these. So let's say you don't care about calls, you can turn them off. Volume, battery level, all these things can be toggled. And my understanding is that if your Duo is sitting on a table like that and you wanna check your glance bar, you can hit your power button while it is locked and that will activate the glance bar and will show you uh, the things that we're seeing here. Uh, span apps automatically is in there again. Interesting gesture here. So power and volume up together, turn it on vibrate or mute. That's interesting. And then system navigation, do you wanna use the three buttons? like this old school stuff, just like the original Surface Duo, 
Or do you want to use the gesture-based navigation, which hopefully that works uh, much better this time out of the gate than it did on the original. Uh, wallpaper. So this looks the same. Lock screen or otherwise. Let's go to Bing images here. And we'll set, we'll set a wallpaper of some rhinoceroses. And we'll set it to both of them. There you go. There's you a nice rhino wallpaper. Accessibility. This is also pretty normal. Although it is worth pointing out the audio balance left, right is a thing because it's actually got stereo speakers this time. Microsoft. So now we've got our Microsoft stuff specifically here. So back up my photos with OneDrive, sync contacts, things like that. Language and input, gestures. So we um, have the ability to double tap the power button to quickly open the camera that we might actually want to use this time. Let's look here real quickly at mobile network here. I wanted to see if there's any indication of a dual SIM. I know there's an eSIM on this thing as well, but no indication yet that I've seen that you can use them both simultaneously. Hopefully that will be a feature. So that's pretty much uh, the settings as we go. This is the uh, phone dialer, and this appears to just be the stock phone app from Google, as far as I can tell. The messaging app, which this will probably be Google Messages whenever it ships. I'm not sure why it's this instead. Here's an interesting thing here. So you've got Microsoft Edge. This should jump over there, which it didn't want to do. Let's open up Edge again. Hey, guess what? Two Edge at once that is working in the Duo 2 emulator. Why that's been working not as well with Surface Duo, couldn't tell you, but it is working just fine here. How about the Photos app? This is interesting. So we have on device, albums, and then OneDrive. So they're basically creating their own Google Photos type setup here with OneDrive. I kind of think that this little photo app is pretty decent, actually. Will it make me want to leave Google Photos with its search functions and things like that? Uh, that's that remains to be seen, but it is still interesting. What about the photo editor? So let's go ahead and span this thing and can we get an idea of how this works here? And so actually, this is not the photo editor that we actually are going to be getting in Surface Duo's camera app, but it seems to be basically like a demonstration of somewhat how that's going to work. And that's kind of how it works. It's not nearly as in depth as the other one is, but still. We also have an app here called Two Note, which I'm not sure if this is a real app either. Obviously, Microsoft has OneNote. Well, they're calling this Two Note, and I'll show you why. Let's go ahead and we're gonna say testing out Two Note, and then let's span this thing and you get a look like that where you've got what your you know your different notes are here and then you actually note you're taking there one note can do things similar i'm not sure why this is called two note maybe it's customized for surface duo that's kind of interesting hopefully we'll learn more about this in the coming days is this a real app i don't know and then we have a list of sample apps for surface duo so, so we're just going to go through and try some of them out so drag and drop let's try this we're going to go to the web browser here let's just open up a news article and i don't you know i don't have any ability here to drag that image over from the web browser although i know that i can drag text over like so if you long press to highlight then long press again you can drag text over now, maybe this is something that, you know, you think this would be built into Edge at this point, but it, strangely, it is not. So let's go back. What about a dual view app? So here's an app that's got some dining restaurants. Well, if we span that, of course, now you're going to get the map on one side and the app on the other. And a lot of these are simple things like, you know, hey, what happens if you try and open up Google Maps? Well, uh, app is already open. Well, it's going oh, oh, to open up on the other screen to stop from occluding what's going on on this other screen. So a lot of these demos are just basic Surface Duo stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much everything I can find in the Surface Duo 2 emulator. Not anything too crazy, but it does give you an idea of kind of what you're going to expect out of the software in Surface Duo 2. Now, there may be tons of things coming that aren't in this here. Things may change between now and then, but at any rate, that's kind of what we got going on in that emulator. Hopefully that was a fun video for some of you guys and gals out there. Stay tuned for more coverage just like this, and until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.